Greetings to you. I'm Elijah Muhammad, the preacher of freedom, justice, and equality to you, my people, the black people, that who has been lost and now found here in the wilderness of North America. For the past 400 years, you have been lost. Not only you, I should have had it myself in this. We have been lost from our own. Today we are found and the finder desires to restore you again to your own, join you on to your own, who are now present among us, the Almighty God in person, in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, to whom praises is due forever, for coming to our rescue in a great time of trouble, a great time of a change of world. He's present here with us to show us the way to our own, the way to safety in his power and in to his knowledge and wisdom that you and me may be successful. Come, let us today Submit to him. Let us in this great evil and change of worlds cleave to our God for refuge. I said to you, my black brother and sister, the knowledge, not even the name, of our God was ever taught to us by this people. For they wanted you to forget about a God other than what they teach to be a God which does not even deserve the title of a God. For he even does not exist where he say he exists. There is no such thing as a spirit or a spook leading us nowhere. You may look up in the sky and look in the earth or look all around you for such type of God and you won't be able to find him. Only in yourself. Man is God. Not some kind of spooky thing that has been taught to you and me by the Christian teachers, the false teachers, putting you and me in search for that which we could never be able to find, making a God whom they claim holds mercy and justice for his people. Think over that, his people, given the masculine the pronoun there, his people. Now, where is any spook or some formerly spirit that you know of that takes interest into the affairs of man? You can't produce it because it don't exist. It is man that take interest in the interest of man and not some invisible spook. 
This is the day and time that you must get away from that belief in something formless, invisible as you God. The heavens and the earth, according to the teachings of Almighty God to me in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, to whom praises is due forever, is controlled by the power and knowledge of man. This man we call the supreme being. Remember the word being, you agree with me. You refer to God as the supreme being. A being is one that exists. Material being. Not an invisible, formless something that you and I have been made to believe existed out here. That was listening in on our prayers and what not. There is nothing out here that is listening on our prayers for help or for our praise for things for another man like yourself. There is men that hears and sees. It don't take the supreme being to hear. There is righteous people that hears, but it takes the supreme being to put the knowledge of that which you hear in to use for yourself. Put it in the shape that you can use it for your service. My dear black brethren, listeners, let us New night owns something that is constructed to help our own people and self. What fault do you find of me that you don't want to unite with me? Do you have great success in trying to reject uniting with me and my followers? and submitting to our own God, not the God of the white race, but the God of the black people. This is the God that we look forward to today to get an answer to our prayers and, and our desires of good. Not the white God. Because the white God is for white. And the black God is for black. Brother, wake up and let's have a little talk on sense. Common sense. You look in the mirror at yourself. See your own black face. Look at your black eyes. Look at everything about you and then look back at the white man whom you want to be his brother as Reverend Martin Luther King boasted on the TV that he didn't want to be the white man's brother-in-law, but want to be a real brother of his. And to be a real brother of his, he had to turn himself white. Get the blood of the white man in his vein. This he was willing to do. To emerge his whole entire followers into an integration of white people's blood. My beloved listeners, here the other day, the worship of such preacher, I want to know from you, black brother, what did you get out 
of a man teaching you to go back to your white man and become one of them instead of becoming your own black self and going back to your own black brethren people. Think over these things. You are very ignorant. Very ignorant. The white race today seeks to throw you off the right path and especially off from your salvation which he know now is at your door. But being made an enemy to you, you and your salvation, he's doing everything to deceive you. Go and name streaks and what not after a man who tried to get you to be a white servant, to be a slave again and become a white man instead of a black man. I want you to listen to these things. Didn't you not know that any time a white man worship a black man, that black man is in his favor? Are you so dumb to want to argue with me? I don't know whether this is true or not. I only heard this, and I shouldn't say it. And I won't say concerning his wife, her aspiration for white people too. I say, brother, such people that seeks integrating, that seeks to absorb their black blood into white blood to become white is seeking hell for. I warn you, I don't care whether you dislike it or not, but this incumbents upon me that I should tell you the truth. God hold me to responsible for not speaking the truth. I've gotten this from his mouth. In these words, I will not hold you responsible for that disbelief as long as you warn them and teach them the knowledge of the truth of self and of God. The two gods, the God of righteous and the God of evil. If you don't do that, Elijah, then you are held responsible for failure to carry out the mission that I give to you. Speak the truth. Tell the truth. Lead your people into the light of truth, which is salvation to them. And I will back you up in it. I will defend you against the people who seek to kill you, who seek to deceive your own people in making and claiming that you are teaching false and that you are half crazy, I will back you up. I will defend you. Brothers and sisters, he's doing just that. What's wrong with us that we don't want our own? What's wrong with your brains today that, that you cannot see and understand even after the white people are telling you that that time is up, that they can no more hope to rule the world. What's wrong with you that you don't want to believe it from their own mouth? If they are no more rule, if they cannot rule the world, and as we know they cannot, because that time is up that divine supreme being 6,000 years ago give to them. What are you looking for then? What future do you have in a people that 
God himself has declared the, their end. What are you seeking? Because they fascinate you, that's it. You love evil, and you hate good like they themselves. You love to follow their wicked ways and their filthy dung and their invitation to you to take part in evil and filthy practices. You love that. Brother Hell waits for you today. With the help of God, if I don't have but one, that one will be <laughs> will be successful. Just one. And if I don't get one of you to believe and follow me, I will go myself and let God stew you up in the hell far that he has prepared for his enemies since the world began. What's wrong with us that we cannot unite? It's because that one loves the enemy and the other one loves his own kind. To be classified that you hate self is the worst shame that you can <laughs> have put upon you in our enlightened day of education that you and I live in. And you are able to read what's going on among you black people in other lands. What Africa is doing, Africa is trying to shed the yoke of Europe and America also. As you saw the act of Algeria here the other day, these governments going back for self, uniting their brothers to love black brothers. All Africa will be doing that. Now so very soon. They all have the spirit in mind to pick Africa for Africa. And let the foreigner go back to his own home and stay out of their home, exploiting their home for self and making slaves out of poor black Africa. The all rich men, the rubber men of great wealth, and the, the jury men have been exploiting this land for a long time. With you and me over here under their feet, trample in the mud and filth of civilization, think over these things, listeners. What rights today should I be preaching sex huh. sermon among you of uniting on the right side and being yourself and accepting your own? When you see all of these changes is being made in the way of your own black people, it's a shame. It's a shame. But you love to be close to the enemy. Here goes a few out. I will not accept Elijah. His preaching, I want to be the leader. Farming all kinds of organizations. But yet cannot get away from the truth of self that God has revealed to Elijah that you are aboriginal people, the first and the last. Black, something that 
originally came into existence out of black. The whole universe was black. And for and that darkness, we, our, in our fathers came out of. What other color could we have been when we were born out of the black darkness of the universe? But made light, created life and the necessity of life for man. And then finally, after trillions of years, in the seven to six trillion years after that, think over that, after seven to six trillion years, one of our God made a man from man, the white race. And you so foolish today to argue with me against the salvation and the wisdom of self. You only need to be wicked. But if a baby scratches mother while that she's nursing the baby, she takes it with a smile knowing that the baby have not yet the knowledge that it should have, then it would be respecting mother. It would be giving mother credit for bringing it into the world and now nursing it with the finest food that it could hope for. Milk from her own, milk grains out of her breast. This is what I'm trying to do for you as a people that God in the person of Master Farad Muhammad to whom praise is due forever. Give to you the milk of wisdom. And that milk of wisdom is, is enriched <laughs> with the fine supreme being, spirit and power to move you and grow you in power to make you one of the most powerfulest nation ever lived in the sun. He didn't come here to make you servants. He came to make you rulers as your Bible teach you. Not the tail but the head. If you're going to drop back into the slavery chains and yoke as rather was seeking to do at the rich man's gate. This parable is always to refer to because you are fulfilling it so perfectly well. So perfectly well until it looked as though that it was necessary for Jesus to make a parable. Laying at the white man's gate, begging him for the necessity of life, instead of begging him for earth, that you go and dig up that earth for the necessity of life, like he and his fathers have done. This will stop the argument. With a program as plain as the one I have on the last page of our paper, and Muhammad speaks. You think nothing of it. You laugh at it. You scorn that program, which is asking you to come and unite. Let us live together, since we cannot get along with white people in peace. Do you think that you are able to make God alive? He have already declared that they had taken it under study. The twelve major scientists of the black man. They taken it under study. And they all agree that we cannot live with this people in peace.
They are disagreeable to live in peace. You going to make God out of line. Now you going to live in peace with it. Try your catching hell right along trying to make the liar, liar out of him. He's able to <coughs> make his word true. You are now looking at the white race all but going back to the cave days. Look at all that long hair they coming out here with. You want some of it yourself. Why? Because you believe in their way. This is cave style. You want to be like the African. But you don't want to be like the intelligent Muslims of Africa. You want to go back to tradition and look like that traditional African who had not civilization or civilized into the modern way of life. You want to be like that. You want to come out with a swaggy head of hair. You want your woman to walk around bushy headed. You want your woman to look as much like a general African than a civilized African people there today. They don't look like that. Those people who used to go like that, the modern African people don't do that. It is you want to forsake and reject the truth of self and reject the author of the truth, God Almighty. In the truth is your salvation of self. I don't want it. I want to accept something other than that. This is what you are saying in your action. Turning it down. Ah, uh, my black listeners. I say, let us unite and do something for self. Let us dig up the earth and get the bread, clothes, and the money, the wealth out of it as other nations is doing. Come, unite with me. Come, follow me. I will lead you to heaven while you live. You can have it now. Money, good home, friendship in all walk of life. But you must submit to do the will of Almighty God in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, to whom praises is due forever. What's wrong with you? What have come over you that you are forsaking your own salvation today and accepting actually unsuccess, no progress? I see you hungry. I warn you, brother, they are hungry is only the way for people who act like you. I see still call you, come. Let us unite together and submit to our God, the God of the black man, and dig up the earth and find its treasures of which is the necessity of our lives. There, my brother, you can have heaven while you live. I thank you for listening. I salam alaikum.